Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Reinvented. I'm going to move this a little bit. I feel like I'm like off center here. I'm going to put myself in the middle. There we go. A little bit better. Anyway, hi, I'm Kayla. I have, I, I'm going to try to do a longer episode today. And guess what, guys? I know you can't see it, but hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Look, my new chair. It's a pink one. I love this chair a lot. So. Okay, so I got some questions here on my computer. Now here's the thing. Um, usually I have it on the right side of me. This time it's on the left side of me. So it should be fun because I'm not like this. I'm not sit like this. Turn my computer like that. That's better. That looks like, like 20 times better. All right. And by the way, it's also my time, first time doing my podcast with my new computer. So. love it. It's a touch screen. All right. Let's see. What do people misunderstand most or about you most? Um, I feel like a lot of people tend to misunderstand my work ethic. Um, and I'm going to take this career wise here. I like I go about things a little bit differently. Like, I tend to try to see things, like, from a person's perspective instead of judging them right away, if that makes any sense. Um, and, like, and that's just kind of how I work and how when I work with people. I don't know. I, I feel like people try to think, well, oh, you did this. And I'm like, yeah, maybe, I'm like, maybe but I, I do it differently than how. How, at least how when in my work, a lot of the uh, some of the places I've worked, that's how they've you know they've seen that. And I'm like, is there really anything wrong with going at it a bit differently? Let's see. Um, I find a good question here. What has been your least favorite job to date? I think everyone knows that one. Because I've opened up about how traumatic that was. What does your morning routine look like? Okay, so my morning routine actually has been a bit different lately. So I've been doing like a lot of like eight up in the morning. Pretty much skincare straight away, you know, all that stuff. Um, and then actually getting ready. And then I end, I get my coffee and my protein shake. Like, it's been a bit different. Like, it, it just gets me moving faster. Ooh, what was your favorite subject in school? I, you know, most people are like, recess. Mine was, though, and lunch, because it was lunch. But uh, I think, you know, I loved choir when I was, like, in middle school. I don't know. I didn't really have any classes I loved in high school. What? Okay. So this question asks, what's the end grade type? Or any, any gram, sorry. I'm probably saying that wrong still. Let's see. So we got, and it gives me, I'm like, I didn't exactly know what this was. So it gives me nine different options. So the reformer. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be. I mean. Could I don't could be the investigator cuts. I don't know. If anyone if anyone has any ideas of what that's supposed to mean. I'm just Okay. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'd say I'm more of an introvert. I 
definitely like to have my own time. But I do realize that, you know, comes what comes with, uh, you know, comedy and all that stuff comes with that. Uh, kind of comes with the, the lifestyle there. Ooh, if you had to write a book tomorrow, what would it be about? What would you write about? Okay, so I've been doing, like, I obviously I am in the middle of writing my book, um, but it's like a spicy book, so I don't know if I'd ever, I don't know if I'd write a book about myself. What's your favorite color? What does it say about you? Okay, well, obviously my favorite color is black. I prefer darker colors. Um, and most people are always like, oh, black for the color of your soul. I don't know, at least that's how I joke with people. But I like the color black. It's dark and mysterious. And yes, like it's the middle of summer and I'm wearing a sweater. I just got yesterday and I'm in love with. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, ooh. Okay, so we're going to get, what, what are three books you recommend and why? Okay, so as I've said before, I've been reading spicy books, and hence the reason why I use these questions. So I've been, I don't know, I decided to go to Barnes & Noble one day and buy myself a, you know, a book. Um, because I'm like, you know, I'm trying to find new hobbies here. Like, I've taken up skateboarding, too. So, um, now, I've been loving these books. Now, can I, I can't seem to read them in the order for the fucking life of me. I've literally gone from book two to book one to book four, and now I'm reading book three, so. But I have, and then the new one's coming out in, I think, I think a week or two comes out on the 8th and I'm super excited and I brought them to show it to you guys because yeah now yes uh Kayla is not the best with like the care of the books here so now um I don't know if anyone actually reads spicy books but I'm gonna show you the ones I've been loving so for starters like and this is a whole series so it's by Katie Robert her Dark Olympus series is so good got Neon God, which is the first one, which is, so it does, like, a modern retelling of, like, you know, in Greek mythology of, like, the love stories and stuff like that, and I, obviously with a bit of spicy things. So the first one's, um, Hades the Persephone, and then you have Electric Idol, which is the second one, and I, like, I love this one. This is the one I read first, but I will definitely say with this one, because it's a modern retelling of, of Psyche and Eros. Now, I will tell you, um, this one you can definitely tell, like, because Eros is the god of love, and you can definitely tell just, like, in the story. Um, kind of without doing any, like, prior research. Now, I'm still in the middle of reading this one, but this one is Wicked Beauty. I'm actually loving it so far. Okay, but this one says, like, a, a scorching hot modern retelling of Achilles. Pa I'm, I'm like, horrible at that names, but Pat is it Patrick was and Helen of Troy. And something tell me, is this going to be a threesome? Like, that's what worries me about that one, but, you know, like, I'm excited. And then I finished this one not all that long ago, Radiant Sin. Which is uh, Apollo and Cassandra, which I'm like, I love, loved this one. I'm excited to get the new one, but I've been loving these and I've loved spicy books now, so. so. Oh, 
Let's see. All right, so what are three movies I'd recommend? So I am not much of a movie watcher. I don't really think I have been for a while. Um, but I will say, yeah, I'll make some TV shows on there too, but what is it? Night School. I loved that one, which actually, funny story, that one came out on my birthday. Um, and then there's, obviously, I love Ride Along. I know these are Kevin Hart movies, but yes, I loved Ride Along. So it's still a good-ass movie. Let's see. I'm trying to think of another movie. I don't know, but well, I'm gonna add a TV show in here because I don't really know any other movie. Um, but I will say I've been watching Barry. I actually love that show. So, yeah. All right. What are three other podcasts? I. I listen to so I've listened to I don't know if they're like I know one of them still going but obviously in or when I'm recording this the ladies will have their first game today for the World Cup we're so excited um, but I will say um, soccer pro props I love that podcast so much um, there was another one I don't know if anyone's seen the show but Adam ruins everything. I don't know if he still does it because it's been a while since I've listened to his podcast. But he had he had a podcast of um, like you know with like professionals in different type of industries talking about like um, okay. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of what it was called. I don't know what it was called, but I loved it. Um, but he talked to, like with injury, industry professionals in like different fields of like, like pollution stuff like that. You know, other stuff like it was it, pretty informative. Like it, it wasn't like it's like the comedy of his show either. So it was like it wasn't like the comedy he would do in his show. It was strictly. Industry based, and I liked that one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'd listen to any of the podcasts. So, okay. Now, I know it's still a short one, but I'm just looking back into things. But I think we're going to close from the day. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for listening to this podcast episode and I can't wait to see you next week. Can't we see you next week? Peace.